Hey, I'm making this video because I see so many developers building apps and then wondering why nobody downloads them. And the main reason is they are not doing ASO properly or they are not doing ASO at all. They build first and then think about how people will find their app. But that's a completely backwards. So in this video, I'm going to share the exact ASO process that I use. And this process has helped me get hundreds of thousands of downloads across my latest apps. <music> So let me give you some context. Like when I was building my first app, I was also making this exact mistake. I built this beautiful app, spent months on it, and then when I launched it, nobody could find it. And that's when I realized that ASO is not something you do after building your app. ASO should be the first thing you do even before writing a single line of code. So what is ASO? App Store Optimization. It's basically like SEO, but for the App Store. You want your app to show up when people search for specific keywords in the App Store or Google Play. And the beautiful thing about ASO is that these users are already looking for a solution. They have high intent to download your app and pay for it. Now here's the thing. Most people approach ASO completely wrong. They think, oh, let me just stuff some keywords in the app title and the description and I'm done. But that's not how it works. You need a systematic approach. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Step one is building your keyword universe and shortlisting your targets. So let me walk you through with this, with a real example. Let's say I'm building an app that restores old photos to modern photos, which is actually something I'm currently building. So the first Thing which I do is I brain dump all the seed keywords that come to my mind. For this app, it would be something like restore old photos, photo restore, repair old photos, fix old photos, and similar like this. Like you can enhance photos, improve photos, make photos HD quality. These are all the brain dump keywords which I can think of like if I want to search and for an app like this. Now I use these brain dump keywords. I usually go for like 10 to 15 keywords and then I put them in a tool. Now here's the thing. You cannot just rely on your own brain. You need to see what your competitors are doing. So what I do is I use a tool called Astro and I add to three competitors apps that are like closest to my use case. And then I pull their ranking keywords. This gives me a lot of keywords that I would have never thought of myself. Now comes the filtering part. And this is super important. You cannot target every keyword. You need to be smart about it. So my rule is I keep keywords with popularity greater than or equal to 30 and the difficulty should be less than 60. Like a sweet spot which I figured out where there is enough search volume but not too much competition. After this filtering, I usually end up with around 10 to 15 keywords that I want to target. And this is where most people make a mistake. They try to target all these keywords at once. But you should start with just one primary keyword, especially if you are a new app. Now, step two is how to judge if a keyword is actually a good opportunity. And this is where it gets interesting. You need to look at the top ranking apps for your target keywords and see if they are actually using that exact phrase in their title or subtitle. If the top apps are not using the exact phrase, that's your opening. That's your chance to rank for that keyword. Another thing I look for is recent ratings in the top results. If the top app have very low recent ratings, that means there is less competition and it's easier for a new app to break in. Also, if you see any newly released app in the top 10 results for your keyword, that's a great sign because it means the keyword is not dominated by established apps. You also need to do a relevance check, open the top apps screenshots and see their paywall. Confirm that what people are searching for actually matches what your app does. This sounds obvious but you would be surprised how many people target keywords that are not relevant to their apps. Now, the important stuff. Let's talk about the title, subtitle and the keyword field. And this is where the magic happens. Your title should have your exact target phrase at the far left plus one descriptor. So for the photo restoration app, which I'm currently building, it could be something like restore old photos, a small dash, colorize, fix, enhance. Your subtitle should cover secondary intent and the synonyms that you did not fit in the title. So something like color black and white, remove scratches, upscale to HD. So these could be the subtitles. And then your keyword field should be filled with the remaining long tail keywords, which you have a set of those 10, 15 keywords, which you figured out earlier. But make sure you are not repeating any keywords that are already in your title or subtitle. Repeating a keyword does not help. Even I think it gets punished by the algorithms. Now here's something I learned the hard way. Onboarding is not a tutorial in your app. Your onboarding should confirm that this app solves the user's problem. And it gets users excited to proceed. I see so many apps with these long, boring tutorials that explain every single feature. But users don't care about features. They care about whether they have downloaded the right app or not. So the first thing they want to do when the app starts is they want to see if this is the app which will solve their problem. So the onboarding should only show what your app is about. Regarding monetization, I usually recommend launching free first to validate acquisition and gather feedback and then add a proven paywall once you understand your user better. A common paywall pattern 
pattern that works well is weekly with trial and annual without trial users. Pay for access, not for like 10 extra toggles inside the app. Now, the execution loop is super important. You ship a simple single feature version, one that perfectly nails the search intent. Then you track ranking and conversion for your target keywords. You iterate your metadata every two to four weeks, ship a small UX improvement and request ratings at true wow moments inside your app, not just randomly, because rating do affect your ranking in the search results. I want to share one more thing that I see people doing wrong. They chase high popularity terms with heavy competitions. Like if you are building a photo editing app, don't try to target a photo editor right away because that keyword is dominated by huge players like Adobe. The huge player is there and there is Canva, there's Figma. All these big, big giants are already targeting such keywords. So you as an indie or a small team does not have any chance. Instead, target something more specific like restore old photo or colorize black and white photo. These are very small, single niche targeted keywords. Also avoid stuffing brand names in your keywords and avoid vague titles that don't match the exact query. If someone is searching for restore old photos and your app title is amazing photo app, chances are they are not going to download your app or not even going to click on your listing once it shows on the app store. I use tools like Astro for quick popularity and difficulty checks, but I also use app figures, ASO mobile and sensor tower to inspect competitors. Now I do not pay for them. I think the free trial is pretty lenient on those. One thing I want to emphasize is ASO is not a one-time thing. You do it once and forget about it. You need to constantly monitor your rankings, iterate your metadata and optimize based on what's working. You should be checking your keyword ranking at least once a week. I have a habit of checking my rankings like almost daily before sleeping. Also think about portfolio effect. If you build multiple apps that target related keywords, they can help each other rank better. This is something I have been doing with my apps. It really works. So here's my advice. If you are just starting, don't try to build the next Instagram or TikTok or Facebook. Build something simple that solves a very specific problem that people are already searching for. Validate that there is search demand before you write a single line of code. ASO first, code second. This approach has saved me months of building apps that nobody wants and it can do the same for you. Remember, there is no single best keyword strategy. Your approach should depend on your app's purpose, your competition, and most importantly, what your users are actually searching for. Don't choose keyword based on what sounds cool. Choose based on data and real search demand. I have linked the Astro's referral code down. So if anyone of you wants to download Astro, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, drop a comment below about your ASO experience. I would love to hear what keyword you are targeting and how it's working for you. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.